Hello, my name is Daniel Silgalis, Product Manager for AS Interface Products at Pepperall & Fuchs. Today we begin our webinar series with the first topic of AS Interface Basics. AS Interface is a simple way to enhance your wiring systems. The genius of AS Interface is its simplicity. You don't have to be an expert in bus systems and communication protocols to use it. Our agenda for the presentation today has been broken down into the following topics. Highlights of AS Interface, what makes up a system, a typical network, handheld programmer, cabling, and other components, and most important, marketing collateral to support your needs. While most bus systems have a steep learning curve and require specific hardware and software, AS Interface only requires a single cable to connect I.O. modules from any manufacturer. The slide highlights a number of features. The topology is very flexible with AS Interface. This becomes very evident as you're setting up a network. AS Interface works with nearly all PLCs. The capacity of I.O. counts varies. With the various addressing schemes, you could have up to 62 digital modules per network. There is also the ability to add analog modules to your networks as well. 8 amps is the total current to power inputs and communications. As you consider expansion with AS Interface, you could expand your networks for over 500 meters with repeaters. Now, let's understand further what makes up an AS Interface system. There are three primary categories, gateways or scanner cards, known better as masters, power supplies, repeaters, which make up the infrastructure, and modules or sensors that are the slaves. An AS Interface Master assumes the control of the data traffic on the AS Interface network. Masters or gateways connect AS Interface to upper level control networks or higher level bus systems where programmable logic controllers reside. Power supplies are needed to power up the AS Interface network. Repeaters may only be needed when longer networks are needed for various applications. Finally, modules and sensors or slaves are needed to connect the digital or analog devices to the AS Interface network. Let's now learn more about AS Interface modules. Nomenclature of the module can help determine if the desired module is fully addressable or half addressable. For larger networks, it is always to your advantage to select a half addressable module, which allows for more nodes to reside on your network. Nomenclature can also help determine the I.O. mix of a module. As we look at our slide, our example shows a module listed as a VBA-4E-4A module. In the first half of the nomenclature, the VBA indicates that the module is a half addressable module. As we look further in the part number, the 4E, 4A signifies the number of inputs and the number of outputs associated to the module. Here we have a typical arrangement of an AS interface network. Note, it consists of all the main categories that make up the AS interface system starting with a master, which is a gateway or scanner, having a power supply and repeaters associated to the infrastructure, and a number of I.O. slaves represented as half or full addresses. The A after each of those addresses are half addressable versus the full numbers associate to full addressable modules. The flexibility and the topology is immediately evident from the diagram. A repeater is used on this network to extend the network beyond the limited 100 meter segment. Let's look at the number of network topologies supported by AS Interface. These can be either star topologies, line topologies, branch line topologies, or even tree topologies. Ultimately, AS Interface does not restrict you to your network topology. AS Interface accepts any network topology so you can connect your modules in a variety of combinations. The topology of AS Interface is completely open, enabling the user to install the system in a layout 
that best fits their application. A fundamental characteristic of an AS interface network are the 100 meter segments. As the network is arranged, there may be multiple drops from the main trunk line down to the various I.O. modules. As these drops are calculated, they cannot exceed the 100 meter limit. Let's consider networks longer than 100 meters in length. Network extension is possible with AS interface by the use of repeaters and terminators. Up to two repeaters in a row can extend the network by two additional segments. In the diagram here, we have our ASI master at the leftmost position. We have the ability to extend the network up to 300 meters by the use of two repeaters. But again, our restriction is that only two repeaters can be added to the right of our master. Thus, what we accomplish is now our network increases from 100 meters to 300 meters. Let's look at expanding yet our network further. In the following diagram, we strategically place our AS interface master in the middle of our network. With the limitation of having two repeaters on each end extending in each direction, we have the ability now to expand our network up to 500 meters. This is a significant value for those networks that require larger, longer lengths. So let's consider the situation where more I.O. may be needed on our AS interface network. AS interface is a 30 volt DC system, so maintenance personnel can safely change modules or add modules while power is on. Expansion is very easy. Simply snap on the module, address it using the handheld terminal, then connect it to the cable. Verify the power LED is on and you're ready for the next device. Replacing modules gets even simpler. With master auto addressing capabilities, it makes the ability to replace modules very, very seamlessly. Now, having learned about typical network arrangements, we need to understand what other tools may be needed in setting up AS interface networks. The handheld programmer is a key component needed for setting up any AS interface network. A handheld programmer can program any AS interface module. It can be used as a diagnostic tool as well to read a module profile, set parameters, read inputs, and set outputs. As far as AS interface infrastructure, the yellow AS interface flat cable has an important role. This cable permits simple and fast installations. The trapezoidal profile prevents lead reversal when connecting modules. Contact is made with two spade contacts. These penetrate the cable when the slave upper part is clamped down on the lower part. The protective shell of AS interface cable consists of self-repairing insulation material, which closes the contact point upon its release. AS interface power supplies provide power to slave modules and input devices connected to them. For modules with output devices, an external DC power supply may be needed, and thus a black cable may be necessary to introduce in the AS interface network. Let's now take a closer look at power source requirements for AS interface modules. Model descriptions are very helpful in determining the power supply requirements. From the J and the L noted in the description, we can determine where the power is needed. In the first example on the slide, we have a G11 module. In the model number description, we have a J and an L noted, indicating that the module has power requirements both from AS interface, yellow cable, and aux black cable. However, in our second example of the G10 module, our inputs and outputs are, are only powered up by aux. This is again noted by only having the L designated in the description. AS interface power supplies are very important in the network. These power supplies are unique because they have data decoupling built in them. Data decoupling is a very important aspect of an AS interface power supply because communication and power now could be transferred on the single cable. The maximum current capacity of AS interface power supplies ranges from 2.8 amps to 8 amps. 
AS interface power supplies have a really nice feature in that they have short circuit and overload protection when limits are exceeded. Since we spoke about the openness of the network topology, I wanted to make you aware of the passive components available with AS Interface. We have a number of splitters and adapters in the G10 mounting style that are very beneficial when setting up your networks. These passive components don't have any addresses associated to them, however require an AS Interface intelligent slave to be connected to them. Finally, in the presentation today, I wanted to make you aware of some helpful marketing collateral. The first is the Maintenance and Troubleshooting Guide. This was released just recently in March of 2016. The link for the documentation is provided below. This guide provides helpful tips and tricks for troubleshooting and maintaining existing AS Interface networks. I encourage you to use this guide because it also includes some helpful links to some YouTube videos that may help further in your maintaining and troubleshooting of AS Interface networks. A second helpful document is the Product Overview Guide for AS Interface. This was released again this year in June 2016. The intent of this document is really to help you be able to tell the story about AS Interface and all the key components that we discussed in the presentation today. It provides a high-level overview of the product portfolio and the technical features of each of the products offered by Pepperell and Fuchs for AS Interface. So I wanted to finish off our webinar today by providing some key takeaways from this presentation. First, AS Interface consists of the following key components, masters, infrastructure, and slaves. That's very important as you consider building your AS Interface networks. A second key piece is surrounding AS Interface power supplies. Today we spoke that it is a unique power supply that has some data decoupling in it that enables both power and communications on a single cable. So keep that in mind as you're considering setting up your AS Interface networks. A third part, as we talked about network expansion, is AS Interface's ability to expand very easily by simply snapping in a module, addressing it, connecting it up while power is available on the network is very easily accomplished. We also spoke about the number of topologies supported by AS Interface. It's open, enabling it to be suitable for whatever application needs you may have. And finally, repeaters and terminators. As we talked about extending the networks, these are very advantageous components to consider when you're trying to lengthen the AS Interface networks. One final reminder also I wanted to add is that the literature we spoke of specifically on the maintenance and troubleshooting guide and the product overview guide is available on NetPartner. So I encourage each of you to order your copies of that through NetPartner. In my closing remarks, I wanted to make each of you aware of the upcoming webinars on AS Interface. There's still time to register and the dates are noted on the slide. Thank you for coming to the webinar today. Included on the slide is my contact information. I encourage each of you to keep in touch with me on any questions, concerns you may have on AS Interface. Thank you.